Okay. What else is in here? No, it's right here. Just picked fruit market. I wonder if Angel gets all his groceries from this place. He does. Why do you gotta make fun of him? Boom, I heard a little broom. Let's go talk to each and every neighbor. Yo, dude, pick up your hat, man. Come on. It's embarrassing. What do you want? LAPD. We're making some inquiries. Make it quick. I worked nights. So you weren't home last night? No. I was at work. You know nothing about Mrs. Maldonado fighting with her husband? Those two? They're always screaming the place down. Thanks. Amazing. I'm glad he works at night, so now we don't have anything going on in here. No good. Nobody here. Boy, how do you know? No one like we waited a couple minutes over there. How do you know no one's in here? <laughs> Sorry about that. I'm playing with my kids. <clears throat> LAPD. Nah, I felt just last night. Yeah. My uh wife and I are separated, and uh, I had the kids last night. I put them to bed early and went to bed myself. Thanks. Phelps got scared. What a little punk, Phelps. It's just a little toy. It's just a toy, Phelps. Don't get scared. Hello. LAPD, ma'am. Did you hear a disturbance last night? Yes. Yes, I did. Mrs. Maldonado lit out of here, and her husband ran out after her. You saw this, Miss... Aranda. I had the door open a crack. Did you see Mr. Maldonado come back inside after he ran out? No. I didn't. Thanks. We'll be in touch. I kept thinking you were gonna call that one a nosy old hag, too, Phelps. Well-executed restraint. Oh, uh, okay. I'm executing restraint right now, Finbar. Damn, Phelps is savage. It's like Phelps knows when to use his savagery. Oh, no, like, these little things. These little things he has. Little things. Eye. Putting you through now. Phelps, one, two, four, seven. Phelps. How could I help, Detective? Messages for me, please. Message from Captain Donnelly, Detective. Your presence is requested urgently at Central Station. A new letter from the Dahlia killer has been found. Thanks. Let's go. The Dahlia killer is within us. Boom. Let's go. We got to solve this case in this day we have because the captain wants everything in a day because he can't handle us solving this in a couple weeks. Even though it's a murder. Like, are you serious, Captain? A day is more than suitable enough, more than suitable to solve a murder. It's not like this was, we have evidence to support this. No, it's just, no, it's just, no. No, it doesn't work like that. Does not work like that. Is this dude in the car already? He is not in the car. Dude, you still haven't got your hat. What the hell? You look weird without it. Oh, uh, now you got it back? No, you still, you still don't have Another it. Another letter? I thought the letter was from a nut. These letters? Crowd and Hanson believe they are genuine. From him. Now we sent another. Oh, let's just go I through really here. I hate this fuck. This black gal, you guy. You seen the body? Fucking case just knobs away at your guts. Hollywood. Every prom queen from every fucking hick town in America turns up here. Where do they end up? Gutted on the fucking sidewalk. Amazing. Amazing. A great force in a great city. Join now. You don't even need to be qualified. The captain is waiting for you downstairs with Pinker. Can I talk to him? You know you made it. I don't know where the hell that is, dude. Oh, did you leave me? Boy. Boy, did I say you can leave? If it's gold, why can't I open it? That's dumb. I think it's over here. 
This is the lineup. Never mind. This is where you pick out people. I, I, I've been here before. I know I have. Okay, so I took the wrong turn. Uh, that's the door. This is wrong. I think it's over here. Boy, don't, don't, don't give me that kind of attitude. Maybe you should have told me Phelps over here instead of being like, are we going to do it? Like, of course we're going to do it. What else am I going to do? Just keep on walking around like a weirdo? At least I still got my hat, Finbar. Oh, how about that? Bam, let's, let's burn. Let's go. We're Boys, cops. Come on in, Phelps. Have you met Finnis Brown? Pleased to meet you, sir. This information is confidential and doesn't leave this room. The new letter was left in the back seat of a cab. The driver thinks it was put through the window and not left by a customer. We're checking all the spares back 24 hours regardless. Good. Like the previous letters, it's been assembled from headlines and typed from the Times and Examiner, then glued to an envelope. What is the other note? This one? That's also new. A poem, hand-typed. Do you mind if I take a look? Go ahead. We've been over both documents pretty carefully. They've been wiped with gasoline, so there's no chance of prints. No, oh, okay, that's weird. Have changed my mind. You wouldn't... That's the message from the Celine Henry case. Have changed my mind. You will not give a square deal. Fuck you, BD Techs. Uh, is that all this is? Look at that $10 bill over there. Let's read this now. Is he gonna say anything? Head upon thy soul by virtue of this curse. Head upon thy soul by virtue of this curse. Ill's deed, then be thou damned. Beholding good, bone infinite as is the un-universe. And thou, and thy self-torturing solitude, an awful image of calm power. Though, though now thou saidest, let the hour come, come, when thou must appear to be that which thou art eternally. And after many a false, a fruitless crime, scorn track thy lagging, fought through boundless space and time. That's amazing. I have no idea what that means, but That's it's poems. Do you think it's original? Not unless he's a genius. You like this nut job's poem? No, I like Shelley. It was written at least 100 years ago. Shelley? Sure, I knew that. No, I didn't. It's okay. You see, Finnis? I told you this lad was a bright boy. Sure, but what has it got to do with the case? Prometheus Unbound. Prometheus was a titan, a superhuman character who defied the gods to bring fire to humanity. The Dahlia guy believes he's Superman. Your guess is as good as mine. One thing for sure is that he's educated. What about the link to the Henry case? He could have got the wording from the papers. As you said, he is fiendishly clever and takes pleasure in taunting us. What's happening with the Maldonado case? We have the husband in custody. We haven't interviewed him yet. <laughs> Went upstairs then, lads, and see if we can break him. Really? Do we really think it's him, though? Like, do we really do? Because I think just reading those two things. And knowing that we have them, I don't. I really don't think that the husband killed him. If we like, come on, we're supposed to be detective. We're supposed to know these things right now. Where it's like, what the hell? Is this all me? That'd be amazing. I can't see. Yeah, that's me. They look all the same. Whatever. That's all me. Doesn't matter. Nate, well, dude, excuse me, you're not supposed to be in here without me. Improved your attitude, Angel? What do you want me to say? I was with Antonia the night she died, but she left the apartment, and that was the last time I saw her. Uh, that's contact with the victim, even though you just dated the last time you saw her, but whatever. So your wife paid you a visit last night. What time was that? Late, around midnight, maybe? She didn't stay long. Mm-hmm. You're lying, Angel. You went after her. I think you killed her. You're out of your mind. My brother will tell you I was at home. Well, your brother be lying, too. Right here, husband alibi. Your neighbor snitched on you. You got nosy neighbors. Do something about that. We have a witness who confirms that you were arguing, that your wife ran out, 
that you followed her and didn't come back. I know this looks bad, but it's not true. We argued, all right, but she went out and I went out after her and you jumped in a car on the corner. There was a car waiting for her? Can you describe the driver? Not the driver. It was too dark. But the car, it was a brown Ford Coupe. No clue. Brown Ford Coupe. Amazing. We knew that already. So the divorce proceedings, what up with that? Though, like, what up? You and your wife weren't getting along. She was divorcing you. Is that why you killed her? We fought, yeah, but we weren't getting a divorce. Nah. Stop lying. That's all she would talk about. She's like, I'm done with this motherfucker right here. Blah, blah, blah. I'm getting divorced with his bitch ass. Boom. Told you a lie. I don't believe you, Angel. She'd been granted a decree nice side. She pushed you too far and you lashed out. I told you. I wouldn't accept a divorce. Boy, it's not up to you to accept it. You just gotta deal with it unless you killed her, which right, man. To each their own, apparently. To each their own. The judge had set a date. You were gonna be paraded in front of the whole city for your cruelty to her, Angel. Antonia. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> she came in drunk, out of her mind. She doesn't normally drink. She was looking around in her bag. Said she wanted to serve me papers. Me, her own husband. So I slapped her down. She ran out. That's the truth. Boy, slapped Size her shoe down. Do you wear, Angel? Size eight. What difference does that make? You slapped her down. Amazing. The jewelry taken from her body. God, you're 23 years old. Young. When we found your wife, her jewelry had been removed. Was she wearing her religious medallion last night? Sure. She always wore that. What about the charm bracelet? Was she wearing that? You know about that? She never wore it. She didn't like the message. She kept it locked up in that box of hers. What the hell was the message? I thought it was because of you. That's what people are saying. Like the old lady and her housing project. Your wife has been brutally murdered. So how do you explain your shirt being covered in blood? You found that? I cut myself shaving. But you don't get that much blood from shaving. Unless you're really, really bad at it. And even then, like, you don't get that much blood. So I know you're lying. I just can't prove that you're lying. Angel, I'm not going to waste any more time on this. Give me something or I'm going to have you charged. My brother, Ippolito, he said some bad things about Antonia last night. So I had to sock him one. We got into it. Keep talking. She said she came from the El Dorado bar. And? It's not one of my places. We used to buy fruit at the market down the street. But the creep there was always running his eyes all over my wife. What's the name of this fruit market? Just picked fruit. Boy, we already know what it Wall is. Street, Come on. Downtown. One last question, Angel. Do the words kiss the blood mean anything to you? No. Sounds sick to me. You're not in the clear by any means, Angel. You're going back into a cell. You should think about whether you have anything else you need to share with us. Amazing. Amazing. All right. Hey. Let's go back outside over here. Nobody wants this. Nobody wants to see this. But it has to happen. This dude still doesn't have his hat. It's getting annoying. It's lower down his bottom over here. There you go. I think I lower down a lot. So you're just going to have to deal with it and suck it up. Buttercup. Let's go. What's your read on Maldonado? I still like him for it. Seriously, that line about the guy at the fruit market making eyes at his woman? Please. Yeah, we'll get to the market and the guy behind the counter will tell us he saw Angel drag his old lady off into the night. This case will be shut like all the others. And boy, what if that's false? What are you going to do now? Oh, I almost hit that car. I go first, guys. I am the cop of the law. I'm above it. What do you guys not understand about that? I am above the law. No matter what you guys do or say in the future, I'm going to be always better than you. 
regardless of what happens. Like, it's just, you know, it's life. Deal with it. I'm a cop. You're not. You're a regular civilian. Civilian. I said civilian. I said civilian. I said civilian. Oh, come on. Don't be like that when I'm doing this. Please don't tell me it did that all throughout this thing. That'll get me so annoyed. It's open now. It's weird. Ah, uh, no, I am free Friday night. What's up, girl? I got a call back for that universal chorus line. That's amazing. Sir, I'm the. Wait, you look familiar. Hey, on the bar, right? What brings you here? LAPD, Detective Phelps and Galloway. Clem Feeney, what can I do for you? Did you happen to see a young woman last night? 21 years old, Hispanic? Sure, she came by last night. Why do you ask? Um, because I saw her. That's why. Anyway. Distinctive necklace? She was wearing a necklace? God, this dude doesn't have his hat you still. You weren't paying attention, Feeney? Hey, you're getting the wrong idea. Doubting his ass. I don't have any proof. And he's looking away. I don't get why these people just can't look me in the face. And be like, you know, yeah, it happened, and they got cornflakes. I just noticed that. Exactly how much fruit do you no. sell here after midnight, Clem? Uh, not much. I sell the odd bottle on the side to the after-hours crowd. Well, I don't want any trouble. I'm just trying to make a buck. Oh, what the hell? How do we know about that? That seems kind of bullshit to me. All right, contact with the victim. We know you have that ugly-ass car. The young lady arrived around midnight? Yeah, something like that. Used the phone for a cab and then left. You already knew Mrs. Maldonado, didn't you, Clem? Sure, I met her before. Now she seemed like a nice lady. <laughs> her husband went apeshit one day when he caught me talking to her. She had me back until last night. Bam. Ape shit, you went crazy. Where did she go from here? She wanted a cab, but I couldn't get her one. I was about to offer to drive her, but a car pulled up and she got into that. Hmm, I mean, I guess. Can you describe the car? Brown Ford Coupe, I think. She seemed to know the guy. Do you mind if we look around? Why would you want to do that? Because we say so. I guess you can. Don't you have to get a court order or something? I have rights. Clem? Shh. Uh. Even though I know where to go, I'm just looking for something. Get the hell out of my way, chick. You don't deserve this. You don't deserve me, the amazing Phelps. Uh, whatever, I know where to go. Open this door. Boom! Selling those alcohol. No wonder he stays open late at night. People have to get their vitamins. Check through this stuff before we get back out there. He has all this stuff. Look at this. Look at this amazingness. So what are we hiding in here? This thing needs a combination. Oh, I got you, Phelps. I got you. I got you, I got you. Wait, wait. I got you. I thought I'd look at this. Bam, blood. I cut someone who's already dead. It's a typical power thing. Once the stiff is dead, the creep usually feels they can do whatever they like. You must have seen it during the war. Amazing. And this is, an, uh, I'm pretty sure, not useful. 
I got you, I got you. Look at this, look at this. This is where we get clues, guys. Clues is necessary. Okay, where the hell is it? It's the dot pattern. It's two, five, three. Okay, that was amazing. This is why, this is why. This is why she left it. She knew. She knew what was happening. She knew. She knew. There you go. Two. Five. No, I know it's all the way to twist three. Why submit to your husband as to the Lord? For the husband is the head of the wife, as Christian is the head of the church, his body of which he is the savior. Okay, I understand why. <laughs> it's the mother virgin. Amazing. And it's hands. It's amazing. It's hands. It's everything. It's everything you will need to do. This fruit stall punk gets about 10 seconds to explain before I pull his fucking arms off. Clint! Oh, come on, Ray. We can't be this slow here. Can't be this slow here. Come on. God damn it, get after him, Cole. But how do you know about the brown? Oh, no. <laughs> no, you can't blame me on that. Wish me luck. No, no, you're going to lose your hat again. Wow, he, he got hit. Hit him, Cole. Spin him out. Bro, you hear me? Get out of my way. We grabbed him when we had the chance, Phelps. When we had the chance, we didn't know he was our guy. Don't go to sleep on me. Are you Get serious? These people are so dumb. They're getting in my way. If I don't he leave a trail of blood right back to his own market. Maybe he wanted to be caught. A lot of them do. They it's like, come on. You can't be this dumb when when you're running, when you hear the cop and then you're it's trying to you perfect. don't run to the siren, you run away from it. Thing is too perfect. Oh my god, you shoot him already. He's getting annoying. Clean this asshole off the road. Oh, I got it. He's stopping for some reason. Keep it steady, Boom! Look at that. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's go. Let's go. Bam! We did it. Cole Phelps right here. Right now. Kill him. Let's do it right now. You're a sick man, Clem. You need help. Yeah, you smiling. Outstanding job on this case, gentlemen. And we're drinking the beer. Woman can now rest in peace. I'll pay the fee and the personal visit myself and remind them the crime in this city does not go unpunished. When they finish with him at the receiving hospital, we'll have him up before the grand jury. I have a meeting this afternoon with the mayor, lads. I'll be sure to mention your names. Yes, please. I want a promotion. Now, on your way. I want the beer, I want the promotion, I want the money. <laughs> and then he took the beer. That's crooked. You got to pay for that, sir. Bam, so five. With a body on his doorstep, the DA may look to send Clem Fansman to the gas chamber. Uh, 83, 50, 10. I don't deserve that injury. I don't know if that's mine or if that's the people, but that's not my fault. They got in my way. Just saying. Throwing that out there. Letting you guys know what happened. I'm letting you know. I'm letting you know. Sarge, why are the guys giving it to the doggies? They're riding in trucks, numb skull, while you're marching. They look pretty badly beat up. Yeah, they do it then. Scuttlebutt says it's pretty hard going down south. Well, we'll find out soon enough. Recon always leads. How can we fail, Skip, with the shadow leading the show? Who the fuck is the shadow? Lieutenant Phelps, the shadow of death. What the fuck are you talking about? He's a quiet fucker, Sarge. 
Never hear the bastard come. Sitting there, field stripping a cigarette, and suddenly he's there looking down on you. Why do you think we keep saluting that jab loving son of a bitch? He's bad juju. That's enough out of you three. Bad juju? Where were you dragged up? A swamp? Damn, Lieutenant Phelps hears everything. He's there for every single thing. Every single thing you just said, he knows. Now he's going to kill you because he's the the swamp or some shit. I forgot what his name was already. Or no, the shadow. He was a shadow. The white shoe slaying. Amazing. All right, guys. I'm done for the day. We just finished the silk stalking or some shit like that. But whatever. We're done. We're about to go see another murder. We probably saw this in the day as well. But anyway, this is AG4N97. Signing out. Don't forget to subscribe, like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, do all that shit that's necessary to do that needs to me. Just want to be me, me, AG4N97 over here. I'll see you guys. And this is AG4N7 signing out. See you guys next time.